Breaking news now in the criminal trial of former President Trump. Twelve jurors have now been selected, completing the main jury. But six alternates still need to be selected. Trump has pleaded not guilty to falsifying business records related to so-called hush money payments to Stormy Daniels before the first presidential election he had in 2016. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has been at the courthouse all day, and she joins us live with an update. Alice. By late this afternoon, they were able to backfill the two jury seats they lost this morning when a judge had to excuse two jurors. As you mentioned, they have now selected 12 jurors and at least one alternate. They're aiming to pick six alternates altogether. They'll resume tomorrow because court has adjourned for the day. As for the jobs, the occupations of these jurors who were selected this afternoon, they range from security engineer to physical therapist, speech therapist, and investment banker. Thursday morning, the judge excused one of the seven jurors selected Tuesday, a nurse from the Upper East Side, after she told the court, quote, I had friends, colleagues, and family push things to my phone regarding questioning my identity as a juror. I don't believe at this point that I can be fair and unbiased and let the outside influences not affect my decision making in the courtroom. It's an anonymous jury to the public, but attorneys know their names. The judge directed journalists not to give physical descriptions of prospective jurors in their reporting. Prosecutors suggested prospective jurors not answer questions about their current and former employers, which seemed to be the most identifiable information. The defense objected, with the judge ruling those answers would be redacted and reporters were directed not to report it. Another juror, a man from the Lower East Side, was also excused after questions about whether he or his wife had been arrested in the past came up in research. The questionnaire asks whether you or anyone close to you was accused of a crime, and attorneys noted, if true, the answer he gave Tuesday was not accurate. He was ultimately excused, but we did not hear the details as to why. With two excused, they were down to five jurors selected. Another pool of 96 prospective jurors were brought in. 48 said they could not be fair and impartial. As an artist, I've really satirized Trump again and again and again in a series of uh, pictures that I have painted over the last number of years. Besides, he's a loathsome character. Nine were excused for other reasons. That left 39. 18 prospective jurors were then called into the box and questioned by attorneys from both sides to try and determine if they could be fair and impartial. A prosecutor told them some of the witnesses have what you might consider to be some baggage. A defense attorney asked, would the way you look at him affect the evidence? They wanted to know their opinions about Trump. One prospective juror said as a lifelong New Yorker, she once saw him shopping with his then wife Marla Maples for baby furniture and that she had a cousin who lived in Trump Tower. She had heard positive things, but, quote, how I feel about him as a president is different. A lifelong Hell's Kitchen resident said, as a wannabe hockey player, I still thank him for fixing that woman rink, which Trump smiled at after a day of sitting mostly stone-faced. Another prospective juror who is an attorney said, I really appreciate that everyone needs a chance, regardless of who they are, like innocent until proven guilty. So after Tuesday, we left with seven jurors selected. This morning, we were down to five, but by late this afternoon, they were able to fill all 12 seats and at least one alternate. Again, they're aiming to pick six alternates. That will resume tomorrow, the jury selection process. Uh, former President Trump did not speak to the cameras this morning, said he would talk to them later today. So at any minute, he should be addressing them. We are live outside of Manhattan Criminal Court. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Okay, Alice, thank you so much. And on our website, we do have continuing coverage where you can find the juror questionnaire that each person has to fill out and the expected timeline of the case. It's all there for you at cbsnewyork.com.